lovelies, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about different ways you can decorate your space like you're an old Hollywood movie star. And I was really excited about this video because I wanted to redo some of my bedroom and I got this new vintage vanity so I thought this would be the perfect time to give my bedroom a little makeover and I redid one corner so I'll give you all the tips that I use to redecorate your own place if you want to make it look like an glamorous old Hollywood movie stars. So the first tip is treat yourself with a nice vintage vanity. I ended up getting mine for $55 at an online auction. So mine was super affordable. Mine is from the 1920s. I did luck out, but I have seen so many available online, like Facebook Marketplace and Barrage sale for super cheap, like under $200. So it definitely is doable and you can even repaint yours. So I might even give mine a little bit of an overhaul and like put on new knobs and paint it a different color. But I do like the white and gold, but I did notice that the paint has a little bit of chips. And tip number two is to collect a few vintage ornate kind of glamorous accessories for your vanity and bedroom. So I have a vintage lipstick holder as well as a vintage hand mirror and comb and I also have like a nice mirrored tray. And tip number three is invest in some old Hollywood memorabilia. So I have a vintage clapperboard. It's actually not vintage. I got it on Amazon, but it looks like one of those old Hollywood movie clapperboards. And you can write things on it with chalk. And I just think it looks really cool as a prop in your bedroom. And it's just fun to have around. And mine was super cheap. I think it was under $20. And tip number five is display vintage old Hollywood gossip magazines. So I thought that was a fun touch to kind of lay some of those out on your vanity or side table. And I found mine again on Facebook Marketplace from a seller. I got a whole lot of three or four of them for $10. And they're like old ones about Jane Mansfield. And it's just super fun having those as props on my side table. Or if you can't find gossip magazines, even vintage magazines would do. So I have been looking for more ways to relax, usually in the evenings, just to take my mind off of constantly working, because I feel like with what I do, it's really hard to shut off. And I recently discovered this video game called June's Journey, and I was really excited about it because it's a hidden object mystery game set in the 1920s, which is really fun. And I feel like the lady kind of looks like me. She has bangs and brown hair, and I thought that was kind of fun, so I feel like I'm playing the mystery game myself and it takes you through an exciting and thrilling murder mystery story set in the 1920s and honestly I was hooked the first night I played for a few hours and I've made it through a few levels now I don't want to give away any spoilers so you have to try it for yourself through the link in my description box below so I can't wait to hear your thoughts on the game and if you've tried it and this is linked below in the description box. And tip number six is hang old Hollywood portraits. So before I used to always print out different portraits for all my videos and I would find these images online and just print them out at Staples on like a nice cardstock paper. And they were really high quality and I had so many of them and I've been wanting to find a place to display them and then it came to me to kind of create a wallpaper with all the portraits and I used sticky tack to tape them on and it was super easy to do that and another tip is get a vintage vanity set with a mirror so I ended up getting this again used I think I got it on Facebook marketplace and it comes with that really beautiful brush and mirror and it also has a comb that comes with it and I think it looks really good for creating that final kind of old Hollywood touch. And another tip is use vintage makeup as a display. So obviously I don't actually use my vintage makeup, but it looks really good displayed on my vanity. And I love the look of some of those mid-century compacts and they just kind of add that little touch of glamour. And some of them really look like something Marilyn Monroe would have used on her vanity. And another tip is use faux fur accents. So I didn't really like the bench for my vanity and I plan on reupholstering it at one point or another, but a nice quick fix is buying like a faux fur rug. You can get them at HomeSense. And I just displayed my over my chair and it really adds that touch of old Hollywood glamour and I really like the white color as well. And another tip is put some of your makeup in vintage jars and canisters so I actually lucked out and got a whole bunch of vintage Avon jars at a church sale 
and I think I got a whole lot. I still even have more that I haven't filled. I only did a few for this video. I found them all for about $2 and I've been meaning to do something with them for years. I finally cleaned them out, put in my old makeup and it looks really good. And if you use cold cream like I do on a regular basis, you can find a vintage milk glass jars online or even vintage vanity containers and I actually found one that came with my mirror and brush set and I filled it up with Pond's cold cream and it was super easy to do and I just love the look of it versus having like the newer Pond's cold cream on my vanity. And another tip is get a really cute pair of vintage slippers and use them as a prop. So I found some really beautiful ones from the 1960s and they don't fit me. They're really small but I find them really pretty and I just love them displayed underneath my vanity. And another tip is get some glam pillows for your bed or bedroom area. And I have this really cute Audrey Hepburn one with a cat on it and I just love it so much and I thought it would look cute tucked in underneath my vanity. You could also get some faux fur pillows. And another tip is get a really cute vintage jewelry box or kind of a keepsake box. I found this really, really cute silver one and I think it looks really pretty just sitting on my vanity and I like the way it looks with all my other ornaments and I think it will be cute to put a little jewelry in there or to put some other lipsticks or eyeshadow perhaps. And another tip is transfer your perfume into a vintage glam perfume bottle. So I have this Audrey Hepburn perfume but I ended up dropping it and the spray was broken so I funneled it into this really cute vintage inspired bottle and it really adds that beautiful touch to my vanity. And another tip is collecting old Avon. I found an old Avon canister and I use that for all of my Q-tips and everything like that. And it fit in there so well and I really like how it looks on my vanity. And another tip is use flowers to spruce up your space. I use Forever Rose and there's other places or you can use fresh roses and I know a lot of movie stars loved roses and I think they add a really nice touch to the final look of your space. I'm gonna work on redoing this whole space. So I'm gonna take off all of these vintage makeup posters. Don't worry, I'm gonna save them. Remove everything from my kind of side table here because I just wanna redo the space a little bit and glam it up. And I have a whole bunch of props I'm gonna be putting there. So I have all these old Hollywood portraits that I've used for my videos that I plan on putting up on this wall. And then some just more props for the new dressing table and everything. So I'm gonna set everything up so you can see what it looks like when it's finally done. So now that I put up all the portraits along here, I'm going to add all the finishing touches to my little shelf area here and the vanity. And I decided to leave out these two because they were movie posters and didn't quite fit in. And I just used sticky tack to apply all of them so it's super easy. And all of these are just printed out at Staples online. So this is what I have so far. So here is my final old Hollywood movie star wall with all the portraits. And then I have this light up arrow, got a few years ago from Graham and Brown, but I really like the lights. It kind of has that Hollywood look. And then I have Sharon Tate's vintage vanity that looks really nice there. And then I have my old Hollywood gossip magazines, as you can see here, that kind of add that final touch. Then I have my breakfast at Tiffany's sleep mask, some vintage dusting poofs. And moving over to my vanity, I have my vintage clapper board, which is a fun prop. And then I put my breakfast at Tiffany's pillow down in that space and some cute vintage slippers. And then I have my vintage tray 
that has my vintage toner in there, the perfume, the Olay Beauty Fluid, and my foundation. And then I put it on that mirrored tray that gives that old Hollywood look. And then I have my vintage lipstick holder, which is a really nice touch. And then I have this vintage Avon canister that I use to keep like Q-tips and pads in there. And then I have this vintage Revlon candle holder. When I bought this, they said it was a lipstick holder, but it kind of seems more like a candle holder. Maybe I'm wrong, but I like the look of the candle in there. And then I have some vintage compacts here that look really old Hollywood glam. And I have this vintage trinket container. I'm trying to figure out what I want to put in there. And then I have my vintage mirrors and my lady heads. And then I think for another video, I'm going to organize the drawers with all my vintage makeup for you. So that is the final product. I hope you guys liked it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you plan on using any of these tips to spruce up your space. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below and follow me on Instagram, Dahlia's in the Attic. I'll also link that below. And if you don't know already, I have a YouTube membership and with this membership, you get a bonus behind the scenes video a month and you get one monthly live stream, which is super fun, where we do like a and a I do vintage unboxings at my Redbird Vintage Box, and you also get 20% off a Vintage Doll Cosmetics, my vintage inspired beauty brand and you get a free cute vintage inspired mirror with your first purchase. So this is right next to my subscribe button. You will see a join button. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.